So guys, finally today is Monday and I have taken two days PPA because there would be very less internet. But I tend to work because there are some pending changes I need to present on Monday. So let's start ahead and it's a five hours drive to Yellowstone. So let's get going to Yellowstone. And this is how my stuff looks right now. The entire bags of food and coal. I took some extra water and whatever left will be used ahead of the trip. So let's start going. So guys, finally after 5 hours of drive, I am in Yellowstone. So now, and so now I will initially go to my camp, do the check-in process, see my cabin, uh, take some stuff out, put it in the cabin, uh, and then take some rest for like an hour, get some fast sleep, and then go ahead and roam Yellowstone. So and also have some lunch. I did not have anything to eat right now. Panda Express was closed. I did not want to eat surveys. My ears are getting popped off. So let's go and. There is lots of ice on the mountains, like really, there's so too many ice. I think so due to the temperature drop there has been icing and still the summer season has not started. So it doesn't matter, so I would be reaching my lodge uh, in two minutes and then I will show you the lodge. So let's go to Yellowstone. So guys, this is my camping site. On the left hand side there are RVs to be parked and on the right hand side are the cabin right here so this is the car parking spot they have a grill a private chair for every cabin they have such things then there's a water hose lid and that's my cabin so they get some thing to sit nice swing chair and that's my room so here they have a chair a heater dustbin four outlets so that's great they gave a nice full size bed and a bunk bed. This was the smallest room available, so I took this one. And there's no bathroom, so and no cooking allowed in the cabin. So, bathroom is on the front side, right there. This is one of the uh, main washrooms, and other there it's near the main office where they have laundry also. So, I will be using this one for myself because it's just near to my cabin so the bathroom was pretty clean and they have showers also with hot water so that's a good thing i guess most of the campsite have it i will show you the rest of the campsite tomorrow so today just was the cabin tour and i'm feeling sleepy and i don't want to drive at night so let's and i want to cook from six to nine so let's start our trip because it's at least one hour and i want to enjoy the views so let's go so guys, I've come to lunch for pizza and let's see what they have lots of menu. They have drinks menu, appetizers, sandwich, calzones, dinner menu, pizza. So I'm going to order some pizza, mostly personal. So here's my personal pizza which is about 8 inch. Yeah, almost. So let's have it. So the guys, the pizza was good, the personal size was good for me and, and it was pretty hot, delicious, cheesy, so I really liked it and for $16 it was a good deal I think so. It's, I think it's a costly because it's like in national parks or all the things you can expect to be costly but it was a good deal. So let's go ahead and go to the Yellowstone, see some beautiful lakes but it's pretty cold out here, it's really cold. So I need some, I need some jacket. Let's go. So guys, one thing I didn't knew, I think I should have taken that into consideration because I visited Yosemite and we needed a per per permit. So to enter the uh, Yellowstone National Park, you need a permit. So you can buy it online or you can purchase here. So it costed me around $35. They gave me a receipt also. Just let me check. Yeah, $35. Mm -hmm. They accept cash or uh, credit cards only and it's valid for seven days multiple times until an exit so if you're coming without permit you can buy it here at the entrance or i would suggest to get it beforehand because that would be much more comfortable so now let's go to Yellowstone, and it's nice they allow it for seven days that's pretty great like if you're coming for two three days and this park will take time to for two three days so it's a good deal 
and it's the cost is per car not per person so you can have seven people share the cost which comes out five dollars which is nothing so let's go ahead and enjoy the journey guys these are some wild bisons right now you can see them most people are stopping in their cars and having a look out definitely never go outside because they're wild animals Guys, just look at those hot springs. It looks really awesome. We'll go there also. So, guys, after seeing the bison's VF, came to geysers, which is basically the hot waters, which is getting boiled down from the Yellowstone, uh, the volcano. So, we're going to see that now. That's really hot water. <laughs> the sound is making. That was awesome to see the mud boiling, literally the sand which is boiling right here. So you can see how much heat is been coming up. It's called a pound, uh, fountain paint pot. It's really amazing. Now let's go and see some other guys. Guys, I can feel the water sprinkles coming up to my face from that geyser right there. Damn that sound making it goes really wide yeah, up in there so guys they build these food parks around those geysers which is really nice and the advisory is to stay on this food park because it's an active thermal area so anything can anything wrong can happen so please try to stay in this food park and enjoy the geysers so this is one of the last geyser in this area so let's go ahead and see it so guys i came to the grand prismatic spring which is like the rainbow lakes you see i think so it's right here so one thing is here like the parking is very difficult so i went to the main parking lot and there was really line like 10 cars just went in front of me so i would suggest to park before it right here like everybody has done right here and back so just park and just walk it be it's really less than like half a mile i just, i'm just like 0.2 miles away from the grand prismatic spring so advice if you see a line of cars towards the Grand Prismatic parking lot park before That's a great wild bison 
straight in front without any security. They are really huge and calm right now. Guys, after the great prismatic springs, uh, we are at the Biscuit Basin. So I wanted to go to the panoramic view, but I think so it was closed because those bisons were just crossing. So I think so for public safety, they did not allow it. So now for let's go and see the Biscuit Basin, and there are some other guys geysers on, on that side which is basically a trailhead so i'll try to see that also one thing you will notice at the yellowstone is the weird smell so when the everything the sand the water is coming from down is boiling up so i think so that is creating this weird sulfuric smell so if you're sensitive to smell so make sure you take this into consideration this is the sapphire pool and just look at how deep it is you can really see the depth i think so you cannot judge the depth but it's really deep and the water is crystal clear and it's boiling so no diving into this thing This we can say is the smaller version of the, of the rainbow lake, but it is fine for now. So guys, now we are at the black sand basin and after that we'll go to the one of the famous spots which is the old faithful and that will conclude the day for me. So let's go to the black sand basin and see what it is. And that's a really nice view. I'm not sure if we can drink that water or not, but it's boiling, so we might be able to drink it, but I don't want to try. <laughs> Bad joke. I see one. Do you really? Yeah. I just look how much steam is coming from the underground water. It's really too much. <laughs> I literally cannot see the other side. That much steam. Guys, we are at the old faithful to see some geysers, so let's see if we are able to see something. As you can see, a lot of people are sitting here waiting for the geyser. So, we'll do the same, we'll wait. And once the geyser is over, people just flock away to the cars and move ahead. I have to find my parking, which I don't remember where I did. So let's find my parking. So guys, that was the old faithful geyser. I do not know, know much information about it. I will read it later when I go, but it was really nice. I had to wait around half an hour to get that show. So it was a nice show. It lasted for a minute or two. Yeah, two minutes I think so. Initially it was just teasing us for the entire time for half an hour. Just to come, go, come, go, come, go and at the end it was just 
whoop in the air and it was a nice show so definitely check out this in Yellowstone <laughs>